Hi guys, back one more time really quick. Uh, some reminders about um, creating food webs. We've been visiting Mono Lake um, and yesterday, and you're going to finish today if you have not already done so, um, ask you to create a food web using this. Remember, you can drag the organisms down here, but I, I've received a, a bunch of emails and questions from people in the Google chat. I just want to remind you of a few things um, about this. A lot of people were complaining that when they drag their organisms down and they go to let go to leave them, they don't stay down there. Reason for that, remember, you have to have them in the correct box. A coyote is not a producer. He's a consumer. So notice when you drag them in the right box, the outlines will be green. When you let go, they'll stay. If you have them in the wrong box and you let go, they won't stay there. So um, you are really simply going to, the expectation is remember you're going to try to go down and you're going to drop them off and you are attempting to complete them and show the interactions. Remember you can move them, you can use the connect button to show how they feed and eat. You can then move them uh, after the fact as well to give yourself more room. Um, if you forget what they eat, you can click on info and then click on the tab. It'll tell you their prey, what they eat and their predators, what eats them. Um, you even have the ability to click on check links. And remember, it'll color code over here and tell you um, that, okay, they're colored green. That means you have them in the correct box and nothing's red or yellow or orange. So that what you have there, there's nothing missing. Um, so you do want to make sure that you can do that. Um, I did have, I had a bunch of people and I'm not sure how, I'm, I'm guessing they didn't watch the video and didn't pay attention to yesterday, um, that had all their organisms in the right spot, but everything was uh, orange. And they said they didn't know why. And the reason for that, I saw a lot of people that had something like this, had their arrows, oh my God, now they're orange. The arrows are backwards. The coyote does not get eaten by the gull. You got to be careful. Um, with that. So remember, you should be your goal here real quickly is that um, I, I've given you the opportunity here. I've given you the link to access that. If you've got to go back and double check the details in the Bentley video, uh, that is here. Um, remember, you are submitting them by class today. I can see here from this example, nine people already have. Uh, you're going to do two things. Remember, you are um, expected to, when your food web is complete, you're going to take a screenshot we went over that yesterday and I showed you how to do that in the video and you're going to paste your food web here and turn that in so I can see it. Uh, you also, after you've done that, you are going to complete a short, really short Google form with uh, five or six multiple choice questions. Um, so the food web here that you turn in, you're showing me that I'm going to uh, give you credit that, that you can create the food web. And then remember over here uh, on the exit ticket, the Google form, it's making sure you can read, you can analyze the food web. So be careful. I've gone and looked at some people and a lot of the food webs look good that people turned in. Um, but a lot of people got these questions wrong. Be careful. You have the opportunity. You can go back and watch the video. You can go back and do that. I think a lot of people are rushing to get that done, and then they're freaking out saying, why did I get these wrong? Well, the reason you got them wrong is because they're wrong. You've got to be very, very careful. In how. So we're looking at two things. Not only can you create a food web, but a food web is a model. Can you read and interpret that? All right, so that's your main focus for today. Uh, and I also just wanted to remind you guys that I've posted one more thing here, that once you have able to do your Mono Lake, um, you should now be able to go back to your ecosystem. Uh, and, and remember, in our Eco Summit here, um, that eventually at the end, you're going to be responsible for explaining and showing your ecosystem that you've chosen. So I've added here in green that now that you've tried with Mono Lake as practice, I want you to be able to go back um, over the next several days here, and you should start today, and create a food web for your eco scenario. So remember on here, all you got to do is pick whichever eco scenario you have. Like I'll just choose, uh, I'll click on Monterey Bay here as an example. And then when you go to visit eco scenario, remember it's got all the information up here, but if you click on food web, that should look really familiar. This is the same thing you just did with Mono Lake, but it is for all the organisms for your eco scenario. So you're going to do the same thing. Um, remember you want to be an expert on your ecosystem. There's my sea otter. Uh, I can then go in and, and include the things that it's going to eat, like here's a, a sea urchin. I can then go and connect them and, hey, wait, wow, that eats that. Um, so the expectation is now that you have the tools and the skills to be able to be an expert for your 
eco scenario. So again, going back, I would like you to create one for your food web, and you're not going to have to turn this one into me, but I do want you to remember eventually you are going to, uh, as it states here, um, just do the same thing you did. Create the food web for your eco scenario, take a screenshot, and you're going to add that to your growing electronic artifact to your slide deck. Okay, so with that, um, today's kind of a finish up day, a uh, short and sweet video. Um, I'll be in the Google Meet to help you out, uh, revisit anything, and if you have any questions, give me a shout. Good luck, guys.